Hey up and welcome to Matt's Mindful Meals. As you can see, I'm not in forest where I normally am. We're in Sky, so me and Martin have come away for a few days. So we're just going to put the tent up. Martin's there already hiding it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be sharing a tent because I bought the wrong bag with me again. Keep making these mistakes. So I'm going to have to iron them out anyway. So we're going to get the tent up. So we'll chat to you about what we're going up to for the next three or four days. Uh, when we've got the tent up, so I'll see you in a sec. So that's the view I'm going to have in the morning. Now that's Loch Sligachin. I'm sorry, but I'm from Stoke and that's what it comes out of my mouth like. But we'll pan around this way and this is the start of the Red Coolins. Sigur Mary. Sigur Mary, according to Martin. But don't shoot me for these pronunciations. And this is a, a little bit of the campsite. So there's the water facilities. But the main thing really, that white building you can see there is the Siglitz yeah it's the pub where we're going to have steak and ale pie tonight and then we come on to the black coolings now slig in that's where we are so those mountains are the black coolings so they're a lot more rocky than the one that you saw the red coolings and there's some camper vans here martin's tent so we got martin's tent up and i've had a bit of a brainwave i'm going to try something that you see people doing this car camping now i've had a thought about it a few weeks ago and the car does fall completely flat. So I'm going to try, for tonight at least, to see if we can get it so I can get a flat bed in my tent and everything's all squared away. So Martin's squaring his stuff away in the tent. All of my stuff's in the motor. So let's see how it works. It's definitely possible, but I want to save the battery on my phone. So I'll bring you back when I'm all sorted. So I'm all set up in my car. I'll show you in a minute and you'll realize that I have actually planned this out properly and I've know where the boxes all fit. And that's why I've put the things in the boxes. So I am gonna be maybe staying one night in Martin's tent, but if this works out really well, then the plans come together well. So what I've got is Civic Tourer Estate. Now the seats, the back seats fold completely flat forwards and if you move the front seats forward it gives you about six foot five in length. Now I'm only six foot tall so it's quite cool but you can fold the seats down in two ways. You've got two seats and then a single seat. So if you drop the two seats you can have the seat staying up in the right position. But if you drop both you can have one side for storage. Now I've seen wandering wear and other sites where they sleep out in their cars all the time. So I spoke to Dave, who you've seen on some of the videos a while back, and uh, I was going to try it at home. However, this is the ideal opportunity to try it, because if it doesn't work, we can go in Martin's tent. Um, but I did plan on actually bringing a tent just in case. It just so happens that, give me a second, I'll show you. This is the tent I'd planned to use, the Coyote 3. So I got it out of my shed and uh, didn't check it. Now, obviously you know I've had long COVID for quite a while and I'm just coming out the, on, the, on the back end of it. Now, part of that was brain fog. So some things I've completely forgotten and I've got quite a lot of memory loss over the last 12 months. Now, I can't remember taking the tent out of this and swapping it for my hammock. So inside here, I've got my DD extra large hammock with its under blankets and everything, but there's not that many trees as you can see. So anyway, so plan B, I'm sleeping in here. So I'll show you what I've done and uh, you'll have to let me know whether you like it or not. So give me a second. Martin's laughing his head off. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. So there you go, there's the view from the back. So you can see the two seat side I've got set with my bed. Now that's the full UL140. So that's the same size as a single bed and it's 140 mil deep. Then on the opposite side where the single seat folds back, I've got my North Face duffel bag, and then I've got my double canister, 
with all of my kit in it. And then I've got my drinks bottle and I've also got my battery packs and all of the charging cables I need in that box. And then I've got my sprout light, which is going to keep everything light because you don't want to be running the lights off your battery if you've not got a spare battery because the battery on this thing is going to need to start the car up when we move around the place. But as you can see, it's fully flat. And then underneath, I've got my Thermarest pillows and this is my Rab 1100. So I'm going to be plenty warm enough. But if the car does get cold, like some people have said it does, I've also got a thermal mattress to go on top of the UL140. So there you go. So it's time to nip off to the pub and go get a steak and ale pie. And uh, I'll see you when I go to bed. We've been out for the curry as you've seen now. I've come back to get in the car. So let's see how this goes. Chat to you in a second. The end of day one. So as it happens, it's really comfortable. Um, I don't know what it'll be like for a whole night, but I'm fully stretched out now. And then uh, once I've finished doing this video, I can move one of these pillows and then get completely flat. Um, yeah, it's going to work all right. So it wasn't deliberate, obviously. The idea was for I'd have that Coyote too. But as I said, the hammock was in that instead. So that was a bit of a surprise when I got to that moment. So Martin's in his three-man tent, but being as I've been talking about this for a while with a couple of pals of mine, I thought I'd give it a shot, and it's genuinely worked out. Luckily, I'd got these boxes because I was going to be camping using the car as a base anyway. I was hadn't got any rucksacks and things, so everything's all squared away in these boxes. So uh, it's actually quite good. So although I was going to do this in the future for two weeks in, in two weeks' time, I've got it out the way now and yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's see how it goes. So hopefully I won't get moved on or anything. So we have paid to camp in this site, but but I'm not in a tent. So I don't know whether they're going to try and charge me for having a camper van or something, but hope not because I'm not going to use any hookups and things. So I'm using my battery packs and my little lamp that I've got behind me because I don't want to use any electricity for the tent, for the car. Anyway, that's enough rambling. It's time to get asleep because I've got a big... 18 kilometer walk tomorrow which is quite challenging and uh so i'll see you at breakfast when we're having porridge so see you in the morning good morning it's seven o'clock and i've slept all the way through and it's the car's nowhere near as cold as a, a tent goes. Anyway, it's raining a little bit and there's no sign of movement in Martin's tent, so I'm going to get my eyes head down again for a little bit more. So I'll see you when it gets a bit lighter. Good morning. I've got the brew machine on, getting the hot water done, so I can have my porridge and stuff. I'm just going to make me butties for the rest of the day. So uh, watch me do that. Corned beef, corned beef and Branston Baps. All ready to be packed up to be taken up into the big hills. Breakfast's all done. Martin's just putting the last bits in his bag, as you can see there. So we're off to a place called the Fairy Pool. So it's a, it's a loop walk and we go up to, I think the highest we get up to today is around about 530 meters. Um, but it's quite a lot of up and down, so it's going to be my big, fig, my first big trek since hopefully getting over this long COVID. So we reckon we're going to be out for about seven hours walking today. Anyway, he's ready to go. So uh, I'll show you some photos when we get to the nice spots. Ta-ra! So 
So we're doing a little bit of navigation training. And as you can see, the map's upside down because we've got it orientated to the way we're walking. But we're not 100% sure where the path is. Ah, there it is. Side of the valley, and then there's a little gully up there, which looks fantastic with the naked eye. But the tops are now covered in cloud, and there's Martin. There he is. And uh, yeah, but where we've come from is all covered in clouds, so you can't see that anymore. So we need to keep going. We're going to, I'll see you again when we get to this small lock that we've set at one of the nav points. So I'll see you when we get there. So, four hours into the hike, loads of different kinds of weather, I've even got my waterproof trousers on now, but the rain does seem to be dropping off, you see the sweat pouring off me. Um, we've come to, I'm going to show you behind me, that's the huge car park for these fairy falls, that fairy ponds come waterfalls. Now, it's turned in, so we haven't seen anybody all day, but it's now turned into like the M6, because they've got a wild trod path all the way up to the top apparently which is good I'm starting to suffer because I said it's my first thing so the achievements I've got at least halfway we've got to get back because there's no way I can wimp out at this point anyway I need to get cracking and join that path because we've come cross country from over there because I didn't want to walk all the way down into town so uh, yeah I'm really feeling it anyway time to get a bit more walking done so I don't get cold But if I'm being honest with you, I'm absolutely tated. Fitness is really suffering now, so I've got a long way to go. So probably won't be any video in now until we get back to the car park. So I'll see you a little bit later. Came here on. It's now turned into a mini little waterfall. 
they've had so much rain after about 20 minutes of setting off we've been in waterproofs all the time but we've got about five kilometers to go martin's on the last of his sandwiches he's happy now i'm gonna have a twix and uh, so i'll speak to you in the car park when we get back because i don't think i'm gonna die i will pinch that i think i'm gonna survive about three kilometers to go now genuinely it's been horrendous not enjoyed it but little things like this make you smile so i must like it well, 12 and a quarter miles and we're back at the campsite still bloody raining my head's done in knees killing it's time to get a shower and get something to eat martin yeah. right old Happy as Larry, fit as a fiddle. I think he's on some drugs. Anyway, it's time for get dry and shall we? And uh, you can join me in the pub. Draw. Well, I'm back in my car. I didn't video T because literally I just nailed the pint and then ate me fish and chips and just sat there for an hour absolutely knackered and anyway, i'm going straight to sleep i don't know if i'm going to be able to do anything tomorrow because yeah my legs are shot to bits maybe i've done too much for the first time i come back that's very unlike me no it's not um but yeah there's some moments that are brilliant but some moments i was really hating it probably the weather because it was awful god knows what it would have been like if i've not got the proper gear um, but anyway, I'll chat to you in the morning. Morning, everybody. Well, it's now five to seven on the Wednesday morning. Really windy night last night and the rain hasn't stopped. So all that bogginess that we were walking yesterday will be even boggier today. My legs and my lower stomach are really sore. So I don't know whether I've pulled something or anything. So we're gonna take it easy today. Try and get all of our kit dried and uh, then see what we can do with the day because I think it's going to be brighter this afternoon. So uh, a little bit more sleep and then some breakfast. So we're up and about and you can see that the, the rain's finally stopped. But unfortunately, I've picked up a twinge that's too bad to carry on with. So we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing and uh, either pack up the camp tonight or pack it up tomorrow. But I just can't continue the walking because I'm just in too much pain. Anyway. I think it's time to start going back to my cooking videos in the areas I'm comfy with until I get my health, well, I'd say more of my fitness back. But anyway, um, chat to you in a bit. as I can't walk too much I've just been for lunch in a place called Staffing we come down to Staffing Beach because apparently here there are dinosaur footprints in the rocks lovely little place and it's really volcanic underneath some really big cliffs that you can see here so I'll do we'll go and see if we can find some dinosaur footprints yeah big old footprint there isn't it yeah I wouldn't want to be around but it was uh, you wouldn't want that stand on your toes So what am I going to take from this? Biggest thing really is my breathing is much, much better, but I need to increase my fitness, which I'm doing slowly and surely. But anyway, I'll definitely be back next year, but I'll be now starting back on the normal cookery video. So please subscribe and join me on my travels. But I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Draw.